Hey, Saggy, Sagimatazico. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So let's dive into your pre-shuffle here, Sag. I feel like, Sagittarius, I feel like you guys are dealing with a battle between the masculine and feminine energies right now. You have the King of Pentacles as your overall energy, okay? Um, and to me, that's giving me an energy of being feeling very rooted in a way of being here, okay? In a way of life. Um, and it, it may not be that you wanted to, to be so rooted in this rut, stuck in this rut. I guess I kind of want to call it a rut. Um, it's not like you wanted to be here land here it's not like you tried to land here necessarily but ultimately it's where you are and I, I, I i'm kind of getting a little bit of a defeat energy with this king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here is your overall energy because it's like well it is what it is i'm just gonna have to accept it mm, okay but that's when we get into the rest of the reading here or the rest of the message or energies here because then you have the two of swords and the seven of pentacles and it's like the the universe is saying to you are you sure are you sure that's just the way it has to be? Because with the Seven of Pentacles here, wait. Oh no, this is the Six of Pentacles. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't count. Well, now I have to think about that for a second. Two of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. Because the Six of Pentacles is about reciprocity. And to be honest, Okay, to be honest here, I, I feel like um, it's interesting because I really was seeing the seven of pentacles in this instead of, but I, I see now it's the six. Um, reciprocity is the six of pentacles. I, I just get this feeling, Sag, that there's something that you're not seeing. There's something that you're refusing to see. Or maybe there's something that you've been refusing to see for a long time, and that could be how there is how how there's something with there's something having there's something having to do with um reciprocity, whether you're not giving enough or maybe you were giving too much. But actually, I feel like it's the former. You're not necessarily or you haven't necessarily been giving enough. There's a little bit of a stingy energy that's coming through with this King of Pentacles here. And the two of swords and the six of pentacles now moving forward you have the ace of swords you have the king of wands now with the empress but then you also have all of that with the moon and sag i just really feel like with this king of wands energy you are so fired up um and so heavily rooted actually in what the truth of your reality has been up until this point that because also keep in mind these kings are both fixed energies okay so with the king of wands here now it's like god it's like you fight to reinforce the validity of what it is you've been experiencing what it is that you are rooted in and then here comes the empress with the moon the feminine energy is coming forward and saying it doesn't have to be this way. Look past the illusion. Look to the deeper elements of abundance that we all have at our disposal. Saj, what I feel like is your biggest problem right now, what has the biggest thing that has been standing in your way all this time, I wanna say, is the reinforcement of past realities trying to reinforce the validity of it and i and i understand where you're coming from here because it's like no i experienced the, this i went through this and i'll be damned if i let myself forget it okay that's fine you don't have to forget it don't forget the lessons that you learned but also don't continue to reinforce the validity of the past don't don't continue to reinforce the fact that what you experienced in the past has to always be what you're going to experience, has to always be what the nature of reality is. It doesn't have to be that. You can change that. And that's kind of what 
the Empress and the Moon is saying to you. It's like pull yourself out of this darkness and get yourself into an abundant flow and recognize that you can create anything that you want. It does not have to be a recreation of the past. I'm having trouble putting this into words, but it's a, it's an energy of like, think about, think about um, the differences between generations, right? We have, and I'm going to use these terms. I'm sorry if this triggers anybody, but uh, this is how we, uh, this is the easier way to understand it. So I'm just going to go with it. We'll say the baby, the baby boomer, the difference in mindset, the difference in perspective between like, I was going to say the baby boomers and the millennials, but that's too big of a gap. The Gen X and the millennials, right? Gen X, you guys, or Gen, Gen, Gen X are kind of like, you know, business and finance and, and I don't know, I may not be describing this correctly, but, but then millennials are so, are like the, are like free spirit, super, super free spirited, like the indigo children, right? And you have the Gen Xs, which are just like right ahead, right before them. And yet they're caught between the, the values of the baby boomers and the values of the millennials. And the millennials are here saying, look, guys, life doesn't have to be this way. But then the Gen Xers, or maybe, maybe it is, maybe some, maybe this is between the millennials and the baby boomers, but others are like the older, older individuals that have been rooted in this world for longer are saying, well, this is the way it is, and you can't do it any other way, because rah, 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 and here come the millennials, like, okay, okay, boomer. You know what I mean? That's kind of what that, <laughs> Jesus, I'm a god, I just triggered the hell out of somebody, but <laughs> I'm saying all that to say, that's what the empress and the moon is saying to you. No, it doesn't have to be that way. You can change this. You can change what you experience. You can change what you see. You can change what shows up in your life. You've just got to change your alignment with it. Stop beating the drum of what the past used to be. Get yourself out of this rut. Yeah, look at, look at what's underneath the King of Cups. I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. Get yourself out of this rut. Instead of being fired up about about uh, beating the drum of the past instead get fired up about creating something new period and you're in the, the you're in you're in the perfect place to do this sag especially with what we've all what we've been talking about since august of last year august of 2019 if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen that reading yet it's it's titled damn it sag you made me cry because i, I cried in that reading for you guys i because I, I really i really felt what you were going through but see here's the thing sag you're in the right place to break free from this mind space now because you've been doing so much work to heal from past circumstances okay so now it really is now you're kind of down to the bare bones it's like okay you've dealt with everything else now let's dis, let's deconstruct this this struct this uh this belief system so that we can create something new now of course, taking the lessons that we learned with us from the past, but there's no, there is, it is no longer necessary to, to continue to beat that drum. Okay, Saji? Okay. Cool. Let's continue. Let's see what we've got for the rest of your reading, yeah? Mm. Okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved in terms of general energies for the month of May 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Sag, I'm going to give you five shuffles here. Let's see what we've got. One. <clears throat> Two. Three. Four. For massages, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May 2020 and 5. All right, Sag. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you see that? I totally just caught my camera. <laughs> All right. I just, I can't wait until I have my new space, you guys, because I just, I just need more space. I just need it. Okay, here we go. Let's cut the deck and try not to knock the camera off the table again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Overall energy, starting you off, Saggy. Sagimatazical, we've got the Hermit. Okay. Look, Sag, I know some of you just saw this and cringed. It's like, God damn it, I've been in so much of a hermit mode. I don't want to be a hermit anymore. That's not what the hermit is saying here for you. What the hermit is saying is, let your light shine. Let your inner light shine. You've done so much work to uncover it. Why aren't you shining it for the world to see? Why aren't you being the master manifester that you are? In some cases, that's not for everybody, but ultimately the big message here is now it's time to let that light shine that you've worked so hard to cultivate. Do not give into the belief systems of the past. It's old and outdated. You don't need it anymore. Okay. 11, 11. Boop. All right. Underneath the night. Oh, underneath the hermit is the world. You guys, you've done so much work to bring completion to your life. There's no reason to, to play it small any longer. Underneath the world. <laughs> oh my God, is the Ace of Wands. <laughs> Underneath the Ace of Wands. Okay, it's the Four of Swords. It's Four of Swords. And I do see the Four of Swords as a minor arcana version of the Hermit. Um, ah, Look, you have rested, meditated, um, uh, worked on yourself uh, sh for long enough. It's time to allow yourself to be free. It's time to allow yourself to move forward with the inspiration that you're feeling. And for some of you, I feel like this inspiration uh, to the, to the, to the muggles, right? To the muggles, this inf inspiration seems absolutely ridiculous. Keep in mind, I I said the operative word here are is muggles, people that don't believe in magic, or people that don't have magical abilities. I'm gonna I'm not gonna say that they don't have magical abilities. Everybody has magical abilities. So here on this channel, a muggle is someone that doesn't believe in magic. Well, check it out, Sag, you do. So why aren't you allowing yourself to play with it? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. Um. Um, I am so immature. Play with it. The Ace of Wands. Are you catching my drift there? Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. Those who got who get it, y'all get it. <laughs> and I didn't even mean for that to happen, but okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's um, move forward. <laughs> okay, first half of your reading. First set of surrounding energies for you, Saji. We have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're being stubborn, Sag, and is that out of character for you? I'm not sure. I don't know. Are Sagittarians really that stubborn? But in this case, I feel like you are. But there's a comfort zone here. There's a sense of, yeah, there's a comfort zone that you're needing to work your way out of now. I mean, it was, it, it served a purpose in the past you don't know you don't you no longer need to be in this comfort zone four of pentacles is a it, yeah it's stability it's foundation it's being frugal it's um keeping a good a good eye on your finances this that and the third but it also could be miserly energy hoarding energy stubborn stubbornly sub stubborn stu wow i can't speak stubbornly holding on to something that you need to really just let go of Four of Pentacles is coupled with the star. Reach for the stars, Saj. Like I kind of want to, I, I want to tell you what I'm kind of seeing here is releasing yourself from this foundation that actually is really just holding you down and holding you back and allowing yourself to float off into the stars. To float off into space and start exploring, go on your new adventure. Follow your dreams, follow your, you know, go for your goals. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Saggy. So there you go. Six of swords. Leave the past behind. 
move from rough waters to calmer waters this just Satch, this just feels like at this point in your journey in your progress now you're able you're well equipped to start to focus on your mental landscape and cleaning up anything that stands in the way of you finding happiness and fulfillment for some of you you're going to need to step out of a family dynamic and i don't mean like a divorce or anything i mean like remove yourself from certain f individuals within your family that continue to beat this drum or that continue to perpetuate the situations the circumstances the happenings the 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 interpersonal tomfoolery that keeps you in this negative low vibrational mind space because that's what i feel like you're in right now and that's where i feel like you need to be leave, moving away from leaving that behind you moving from rough waters to calmer waters with the six of swords six of swords is coupled with wow the king of cups emotional maturity it's not about staying in a situation like like uh uh is this is that i think it's a blink 182 song keep it this day together for the kids right it's not about that type of energy of just staying in a situation because you made a commitment and i've been in this for so long and rah 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 no it's saying to yourself "Ooh, this is not emotional emotionally fulfilling and honestly this is actually quite emotionally detrimental not just for me but it's also detrimental for you so here's what we're what's going to happen i'm going to move forward I'm going to separate from this situation. I'm going to put distance between us because I can't have this any longer in my life. And it's not about getting back at someone. It's not about being spiteful or hateful or, hey, hey look at me, it's what you get. No, it's not about that. It's emotional maturity. It's like, look, this is not healthy. We got to do something about this. We got we to gotta change something here. We got to leave something behind because this is not healthy for either one of us. Now, you might be the person, the bigger person here, or maybe not, Sag, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's someone else is saying this to you, but someone is going to be the bigger person here and, and, and take deal with it however it happens. The other person I don't feel like is going to take it so well. It might act fairly immature. But, it, uh, but actually, I don't think, but keeping with this King of Cups energy, this emotional maturity... I don't think you're really be holding that against them because you kind of understand and in, in the state that they're in right now that's kind of par for the course so like uh, can't really expect much else okay but that still means that you have to, somebody here has to be the bigger person and leave something behind move take steps to move away from something that is just not serving you you are challenged in the first half of your reading here saggy three of pentacles rebuilding that foundation going back from this four of pentacles state going back to the rebuilding stage remodeling remodeling literally remodeling three of pentacles is uh teamwork entrepreneurship but it's also self-mastery and it's also building a foundation so this is literally saying all right kids let's go back to the drawing board we've got some remodeling to do that's your challenge right here Three of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, wow, now the Queen of Pentacles. Now, your challenge here is to remodel your space or your foundation so that it is much more loving, caring, nurturing, grounded, stable, secure. It's like the Queen of Pentacles is coming in, the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is the archetype of the wife and the mother is and the homemaker right is coming in on your remodeling work and and kind of being your architect it's from this point of view of nurturance love care compassion responsibility uh follow through consistency uh providing all of those principles that the queen of pentacles represents that energy is coming in to help you remodel it's like it's like the queen of pentacles is coming in and saying okay we're gonna we have i'm gonna take this house and we're gonna make it a home right i like that i like that a lot sag for some of you actually you are in have every intention of building a family starting a family or at least creating a space so that you can 
nourish and um, grow a family, develop a family. I like that a lot, Saggy. Mm -hmm. For some of you, it's even getting to the point where either you have children already and there are family, there are individuals within your family. It could be your parents, so the children, so the child's grandparents, um, or aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters, whatever. It feels like there is a family dynamic here that is extremely toxic and either you have children or you're about to have children and you know they cannot be anywhere near that. And it could very well be, look, I dealt with that when I was a kid and look at the struggle that I had to, I had to handle coming up to get myself to heal from that. I'm not putting my child through that. That's beautiful. But that's that queen of pentacles right there. Coupled with the king of cups, the emotional maturity, seeing something as it clearly and truly is and taking action steps accordingly. And again, it's not out of hate. It's not out of animosity. It's literally just facts challenge or i'm not your challenge your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here saggy whoa it's so crazy sag because i was just thinking about this and i was speaking to the king of cups and in the back of my head i was like wow this feels very much like a king of swords energy facts are facts just the facts ma'am king of swords just the facts it is what it is let's call a spade a spade Let's not sugarcoat this. Let's be honest about this. Let's be diplomatic about this. Let's be honorable about this, even. King of Swords. I don't like the King of the King of Swords energy kind of is like, I don't I don't know what you want me to tell you. We have the facts laid out here. It's X, Y, Z, all the way around to A, B, C, and D. So what really would you have me do? other than act accordingly, says the King of Swords. <laughs> There's even a narrative that just came through of, well, I look, I, this is the truth. And it, quite frankly, if you didn't, if you knew this was the case and you didn't want me to deal with this, then why did you tell me the truth like this? Or why did we, why did we, why do we find ourselves here then? But that's kind of petty. <laughs> and I only mentioned it because it came through and it was funny. So I was like, oh, wow. Damn, it's like that, huh? But yeah, in some cases, it's like that. I mean, j just the facts, ma'am. <laughs> King of Swords is coupled with. Ugh, the Five of Pentacles. And okay, so look, someone is kind of getting, I feel like there's a grandparent or something. So there's a family member here that's kind of getting cut out of the circle a little bit. And... The King of Swords is coming and, and kind of making them feel, and it doesn't have to be family. It's something that I'm picking up on, but it, it, this could be anything for you. But the King of Swords is coming out here on that Five of Pentacles where someone is feeling hurt, okay, but is also feeling lacking or less than. It's like, look, you're not a bad person. It's just, it's literally just the facts. Like, it's like this King of Swords energy is kind of trying to come through and convince somebody that it's like, look, 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 it's... It's not personal. It's just a matter of needing to protect myself or needing to protect my family. Period. But then also the King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles is that energy for you, Sag. Get out of this lack mentality. Mm hmm All right, let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Saggy. Page of Wands. I really like to see that. First of all, this is your energy. As a mutable sign, I do see the pages and the knights as the mutable signs. So that would be you, Sag, um, for fire, at least, um, and for the fire signs. And um, also, I see you taking steps to re-identify yourself, to move forward in a new way, uh, strongly inspired, feeling good, feeling excited, feeling kind of like that... Uh, the wonder is back in your eyes. Yeah. Page of Wands is coupled with. The Four of Wands. That's really excellent, Sag. You really, uh, that, that's really, really excellent. Like, that's really recreating yourself. Having the spiritual foundation to recreate yourself. So instead of giving so much into this 
old outdated foundation with the four of pentacles now moving forward as you reinvent yourself you start to act and live and support yourself from your spiritual foundation now that has really been helped to be fortified for you over this this period of growth i like that that's a really nice change from the four of pentacles to the star to the page of wands and the four of wands i really like that a lot because to me this is saying that you are letting go or you have the potential you really could be letting go of all of the things that have hurt you from the past or all of the belief systems and all of that stuff from the past second set of surrounding energies for you sag in the second half of your reading the devil interesting capricorn energy okay what is the devil here i, I feel like the de honestly the devil i feel like is allowing yourself to indulge be free do what it is you want to do if you want to be debaucherous be debaucherous i don't know <laughs> the devil is coupled with Ooh, the queen of wands uh, look there <laughs> there is an energy here of someone being having been demonized in the past or um <clears throat> having been ostracized for their beliefs for what it is they like to do for what it is that makes them happy and i feel like sag this is an energy of you getting back in tune with that and it's like well whatever everyone else may call me a devil or may say i'm a terrible person for this but this makes me happy this is what i want so i'm gonna go for it now i am not advocating things like murder or theft or assault anything like that okay but i'm gonna be honest with you sag this kind of feels like, well, if I'm going to be a devil, if people are going to make me out to be a devil, then, then damn it, then I'm just going to have to be that. <laughs> and I don't feel like you're really doing anything wrong here. I just feel like people that have ostracized you in the past are people that have really, really closed minds, really small points of view, frames of reference. So don't give it any mind. Don't pay it any mind. Don't pay it any attention. This also could be an energy of needing to, to stay in your manifestation mode. I do see the Queen of Wands as like the uh, physical embodiment of the Law of Attraction. So being in that uh, Law of Attraction mode in the face of any sort of devilish energy that's trying to incite fear within you or, or hold you back somehow. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Sag... Seven of Swords, deception. But I feel like you're keeping quiet here about something. Seven of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Wands. Ah, yes. Okay, so keeping things under wraps for sure and continuing to persevere with what it is that you need to do. This is your challenge in the second half of the reading, okay? So... There could be a lot of people. Uh, it, it's interesting because what was coming through with the Seven of Swords is like I was trying to pick out, you know, something specific, but it, I was literally just getting a bunch of static or like a bunch of fog. And that was leading me to want to say, don't pay attention to anyone else external to you right now. Focus on what it is you want to do. Focus on what it is you want to create. Focus on persevering. But then also the challenge here could be not needing to say anything about it not needing to talk about it just just keep pushing which you do which is which is you 100 percent, sag you know what i mean and this is the nine of wands is can i can it be is that no it's the eight of wands anyway closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here saggy Ooh, the hierophant um wow i feel like there are some of you here that are really in about to be in the process of stepping into a real authoritative space maybe even like a spiritually authoritative individual uh, a spiritual authority that's kind of oh, that's interesting that's kind of what i'm getting with the hierophant here 
I feel like you really mastered some principles spiritually, some con some spiritual concepts, and now you have the ability to teach others because the Hierophant does represent teaching and learning, okay? The Hierophant is coupled with the Nine of Cups. That's beautiful, Sag. Yeah, so you really are in a place to really help people out, you know, with what it is you've experienced, what it is you've mastered for yourself and all that. You really have the opportunity to shine a light. But see, that's why Spirit is asking you to shine your light now, because you are, you are an authority on certain levels. I mean, you've got the skill. You've mastered it yourself, haven't you? You've pulled yourself out of the depths, haven't you? So why are you not capable of shining fully, being the full, bright individual that you truly are, right? Okay, let's close this out here for you. Let's get your closing message for your general reading here. From a Sag There it is. Oh no, anger. Wow. All right. Adventure is at the bottom of the deck. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. But the strongest thing that's coming out for that, Sag, is dare to do things differently. All right. Take this anger, this resentment, this rage. Take whatever that it is you've, be you've been beating the drum of from the past and use that to transmute your life. But this says safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred, Saggy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. I am going to go do your love reading next, which will be found, is, is available on Patreon. Yeah, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Also, the link is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of June. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.